going up the lift, guys. I have advanced. I am no longer with Metro anymore. I'm with AT&T. I said the five few. I do that three four times a kid. I testify for you. I sort of like you, that bitch. I do it. All that I'm around is kidding. I'm not. As long as you joking, that way for me. I ain't got it. My bitch, get in, do it. I joke about it. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now For the truth, I look better under you I can't lose when I'm with you How can I lose a missed moment? You're just too important Nobody, nobody like you will do I Hi you guys, what's today? Uh, Friday? I'm on my way to go get some breakfast at the Four Seasons with T, my friend. <laughs> Period. You guys thought Tati Daddy was no longer my friend. He's still my friend. Um, anyway, so yeah. So I'm about to go have some breakfast at the Four Seasons. And then I have a massage. Um, I have a two-hour massage, pretty much. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm not gonna put anything on my face, but I do want to look dressed up because, like I said, I'm having a tea first, and then I'm going to my massage, and then after, I think I'm gonna grab lunch. What the hell? Then after, I think I'm gonna grab lunch at um, the Zuma that they have there and get some sushi. Cause I love me some sushi so yeah so that's what we're doing today I'm gonna wear this hat because my hair looks crazy so I'm gonna put this hat on boom because I'm not doing any makeup on my face today I need to style this so that I don't look crazy because my hair looks crazy but let me quickly get dressed and then let's go all right you guys this is the fit, period, with the hat. <laughs> that was cute in right here. <laughs> it's pretty. What is this, carrot shots? Yeah. Good health, guys, good health. Cheers. Slaunch. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? It was actually kind of yummy. This is a uh, matcha toffee latte. Yum. I completely forgot to actually record the breakfast, which is fine. I'll just tell you guys about it. I got a uh, egg white omelet with mushrooms and spinach inside. Um, and then I got a side of bacon. And the cheese of a goat. Oh yeah, there's uh, goat cheese in the omelette as well. The bacon is nice and crispy. You hear that? That's how you make some bacon. Okay. And I got another matcha latte. Overall, delicious. This is breakfast at the Four Seasons. Get to the spa. I'm actually early, which is shocking. I'm always late. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm about to go get a, pretty much like I said, a two hour massage. It's a um, 110 minutes. I'm super excited. Why I like this spa. They literally offer equipment, straightener, curling, hair ties, comb. I actually took one of these last time I was here um, and I'm taking this one too. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take them if you use them, so I'm taking this one with me. Um, yeah, I was sitting here. Oh, it's dark, but I was sitting here brushing my hair. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna use one of these lockers. I always use this one though, but it's locked. This one's open. Um, and I'm gonna change into my robe, put my slippers on, and then we're gonna go. All right, I'm in my robe. So cute. 
cute. <laughs> I love this mirror. Um, I'm about to go get my massage. I'm obviously not gonna bring you guys in the room because I don't think I'm allowed to. It's just gonna be weird. I'm keeping my earrings on. I'm gonna take them off once I get in the room. But I'm gonna have to put you guys in here. So let me get off and I'll see you guys after my massage. All right, you guys out of my massage it felt so good um, it was an hour and 50 minutes almost two hours which is fantastic i got my hands rubbed my feet i got this like hand and feet scrub so good um yeah so i loved it i think i'm gonna keep doing the um 110 minute massages versus the 90 minutes that i usually do because it's just much longer I just feel so much better, relaxed. So I had some tea after, um, some hot tea, so good. And um, yeah, now I'm about to get dressed and go down to Zuma, get myself a glass of champagne, um, some sushi, and just end it on a perfect, perfect note. I sat here and straightened my hair a little bit or at least I tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have a strainer, they have a curler if you want to curl your hair. So I just kind of straightened it a little bit so that it looks semi-decent. I think I'm still gonna put my hat back on. Um, but yeah, my face is a little dry now, so I might put like some moisturizer and stuff. Um, yeah, so let me quickly change and then we can head down to Zuma. All right, we're dressed. I brought a little powder, so I just ended up throwing it on my face, no foundation or anything, just a little powder so we at least look a little, you know? Show you guys my outfit because I didn't really show you guys when I was leaving the house. Some dress pants and a white t-shirt. The blue Birkin to match the hat. Max Mara coat. They're holding on to it. They're hanging it for me. So, yeah, I'm a still in the brush. Mmm, <laughs> sushi. Hi, you guys. What's today's date? Today is uh, Sunday, March 10th. Oh, my battery's dying. Um, let me quickly tell you guys what I'm doing. I am on my way to brunch with Bay. I think the last time I spoke to you guys, when was that? I can't remember. But anyway, so yeah, we're on our way to have a little bit of brunch and then possibly do a little bit of shopping. Um, we have to go to Ferragamo so we can get his belt fitted that I got for his birthday. Um, and then I need to go to YSL. That's what we're doing. My battery's gonna die, so I might film the rest of everything on my phone. I'll show you guys my outfit later, but this jacket is a Dior. Then the top is Loewe Bay. Hello. I got a French 75. They got some wine. Cheers, babe. All right, you guys, so I actually got some pasta that I was gonna eat first because I was gonna have this as dessert, but this is their French toast. <gasps> Let me open move away so you guys can see with the lighting. So yummy. Oh my God, it looks like a heart attack waiting to happen. We got the uh, Benedict, it looks really yum. And the side of bacon, but I'm waiting for my pasta. Hopefully it's gonna come out soon, but this looks incredible. And honestly, if I don't finish it, I can take it home. Here comes my pasta. Yes, thank you. Mm. Okay, there's a lot of food. 
<laughs> but this is the pasta that I got. What was it called? The full something. Pesto. But anyways, it's a pesto pasta. That was yummy. Where are you been? We're in Ferragamo. We're now in YSL so that I can pick up these shoes, but in that burgundy color. Look at him. He's looking at shoes to pick up for me. Flats. <laughs> Let me see. You think these are cute? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you were made for me. Hi, you guys. It is uh, Monday, March 11th. It is what 3:40 in the afternoon. Today has been a day. I went to the registry. Oh, I'm on my. You know, it's that time of the month. So your girl has been feeling super lazy, um, lightheaded. I have low iron, so when I'm on, you know, my period, I'm losing blood. So um, I get really weak and I need to just be in bed. Um, but I had a couple of things that I had to do today, which was I had to go to um, the registry, the motor vehicle registry to renew my registration because my registration had been expired for like two months. and. I didn't even know. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've been driving around not even realizing that my registration was expired. So I had to go get that. Um, took a little while, but not too long once I was able to like shower and get out of bed. I obviously took some iron pills and stuff like that to try to give me energy. Um, and then I went and got my nails done. Uh, I had French before, I cut them down. I did oval they were um, what do you call it they were square before and I just did this light pink color cute simple I also got my toes done um, and I just did white it's what I always do so now I'm just in a house doing some laundry putting away dishes and just cleaning the countertops um, I have dinner with a friend today at 7 p.m. Yesterday, we did shopping. I ended up getting some stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. Yep, so now that the house is clean, I love cleaning my house because I'm such a clean person that it honestly only takes me like 20 minutes and um, the house looks good if you take 20 minutes a day clean after yourself you never have to do like a deep cleaning well then again I have housekeepers so I really actually never have to do deep cleaning now let me show you guys the stuff that I got from the mall yesterday when I went shopping after brunch with Bay. We're gonna start with a YSL. You guys saw the silver heels that I got. So I went back and I got the burgundy one. Stunning. So cute. So, so cute. I got the silver ones last week. These are them. This is what they look like. They're cute. Only thing is, I wore this yesterday for the first time. And why is the Saint Laurent already fading away? Make it make sense. Like, I don't know if you guys can see I had to take that off. But you see that? It's already fading away and I wore it for the first time yesterday. Like, look, it's still freaking brand new. But whatever. They're really cute and they were really 
comfortable to a certain extent these ones are a little different they have the gold heels the gold strap and they're a little taller than these um, but similar style but anyways super cute so I had to pick that up can't wait to wear it with my Hermes Constance bag which was the main reason why I got this color shoe because I've decided I need to start buying shoes to match my bags because that is the problem that I have I buy so many bags but never enough shoes to match so after that then I got some stuff from Dior but I kind of low-key want to film a TikTok unboxing for them so I don't know We'll see. I unboxed them on my TikTok first. So for the girlies that like to see it come out of the package and everything, you can go watch the unboxing on my TikTok. But this is what I got from Christian Dior. I got this cute um, sweater and it comes with this cardigan. Super cute. I love the fact that I can wear them separately and I can wear them together. I can wear this just alone in the summertime with pants, and I don't have to, you know, carry this. Or I can just wear this as well if I want um, with some jeans, something. Or I can wear them together. I realized that I can actually shop at like YSL, Christian Dior, um, other luxury designer brands. It doesn't always have to be Hermes because they are more, I think, reasonable. Hermes is a little bit more on the pricier side so like I don't need to get every clothing item from Hermes um, but I could definitely do Christian Dior do YSL I saw these Christian Dior jeans I love a dark jean I saw these ones at YSL but they were a little um, washed looking like those jeans that fade and I really don't like those I love a nice dark black jean or blue jeans and this christian dior jeans was the cutest thing and i love that it was super long it goes past my ankle bay was like oh no they're gonna have to take that in but i personally love my jeans to be past my ankles okay um so i'm not getting them tailored i'm keeping them just as long as they are but yeah so now i have a christian dior jeans chanel jeans you know i have a mix of everything i'm just trying to elevate my um wardrobe with more timeless pieces that i can wear for years and years um you know as long as i keep it in good condition um but it's like you know you buy zara it's damaged in like a few months <laughs> same with aritia i think aritia has a little better quality than zara but this stuff at least it's like really good quality and i know that it's going to take me a while before you know i kind of want to get this out of my closet i don't think that's ever gonna happen if that does happen it's most likely will be like i sell it or something um but yeah so those are the three things that i got i'm gonna go relax for a little bit before i go to dinner with um this girl I need to actually film a, a timu sponsorship they keep coming back <laughs> hey you guys this is the outfit i am super late my uber is outside but what's new um the christian dior jeans that i just showed you guys cute this top i got it from Saks. i'm pretty sure it's from theory i have my hermes constant in this rouge ash color with the matching colored heels but from ysl the ones that i just showed you guys the ysl heels are my shoes added my van cleef bracelet for that matchy matchy vibe for the bag and the shoes 
I'm gonna throw over my Max Mara coat, but this is my outfit, and uh, let's go. Bye, guys. Today is Tuesday, March 12th. It is what? 6.43 in the uh, evening, and I was just about to make myself something to eat. And then I was like, oh, this is actually good vlogging content. Oh my God, cramps. Yeah, so seven o'clock, I'm about to make myself some dinner. Um, I've been relaxing all day because honestly, it has just not been a good day. Like I said, it's that time of the month. Your girl is lazy. By lazy, I mean like my body is just tired, exhausted. I have low iron. <sighs> okay, um, but we got a little bit of energy, so we're gonna make some dinner. And honestly, it's just a salad. I'm on a diet. You guys saw those Dior pans that I showed you guys. I need to, well, once I'm on my, you know, I feel like I'm bigger, bloated, and stuff like that. So maybe that's why it's feeling a little tight but I need to lose a few pounds <laughs> so that I can fit into those Dior jeans because those are the size of the jeans, which I believe it's a 35. That is my go-to size that I want to remain or maintain. So they fit, but they were just a little bit on the tighter side. So yeah, we're gonna make a salad. I've already kind of assembled my salad together. Um, I'm making a cop salad, but I'm going to put shrimp on top. Um, so my ingredients are lettuce, and then I also added some spinach on that. I had some tomatoes and some red onions. I also have some feta cheese. I know for cob salads, I think they use blue cheese, but I don't like blue cheese, so I'm using um, feta cheese. I'm going to add some avocado um, and then I'm going to be using ranch dressing but I'm going to try to dilute this into like with some olive oil and some other stuff so that it's not you know super fatty. I don't really like other dressings. I am a ranch girly so and it's the one that's not healthy for you so kind of defeats the purpose of the eating salad but we're going to try to like just use a little bit of it and then add some other stuff and kind of make our own dressing out of it and we're gonna put the shrimp on top hey. feeling young but they treat me like the og and they want the tea on me i swear these bitches nosy said he put some money on my head i guess we gon' see i won't put no money on this head my niggas owe me i gotta be single for a while you can't control me Uno of those traits in a race they can't hold me It's just annoying me And I'm too about it And the dirt that they do on my name Turn to soil and I grew up by it So I am waiting for my shrimp to defrost They're really big so I'm only making two of them um, So I'm waiting for them to defrost That was my salad. I'm about to eat. And um, yeah, it's 8.57. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat my salad. It's Wednesday, March 13th. It's 11 o'clock. I'm about to take the dog to the groomers. I'm walking her there. Um, it's literally like three minutes away from my house. So I'm just dressed in my uh, sportswear, which is the um, owner active. The leggings, the top, I threw over my Hermes coat. I'm gonna throw some Uggs on. We're gonna run, take the dog to the groomers, come back, and we have a couple of things to do around the house. Well, that didn't go as planned. I walked her over there and um, 
unfortunately one of her vaccines that she needs to be able to be seen um, is past due so they had to postpone her grooming appointment to the 25th but I have another groomer that I go to and he doesn't really care black owned business <laughs> So I'm going to take her there um, probably tomorrow instead or because I think yeah the housekeepers are coming tomorrow so tomorrow will be a good day to drop her off um, if not Saturday because I think he's only opened like Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays or something like that. Um, but yeah so unfortunately she just has to be a little dirty a few more days before she gets cleaned up she doesn't look too bad but her hair is starting to mat and it's not good for her it probably doesn't feel good when she's like trying to scratch so I try to like make sure that she doesn't have any matted hair and stuff um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna fold some laundry that I was doing yesterday um, And then We're gonna see what we have Left to do today. I'm probably gonna start editing my St. Moritz vlog because I think what three days ago I posted the Valentine's Paris vlog so I don't want it to be too long before I post the St. Moritz vlog so I'm probably going to start on that. Um, yesterday I wasn't feeling good so I missed my two phone calls that I had to take. So I'm probably going to see if I can do them today or tomorrow. Hopefully the girlies are not mad. I try to say if you're going to book the appointment try to book it for a later day. So example today is Wednesday. If you're trying to book an appointment for let's say today March 13th it wouldn't make sense to book it on March 13th book it like March 10th or the 13th so that I can plan ahead of time you know I plan my days as well I'm not always just at home you know watching TV waiting for the bookings to come in so that i can take them i have plans and stuff so you know i try to tell you guys to plan ahead a lot of the laundry that i do at home is like workout stuff my pajamas and like little little t-shirts because most of my clothes honestly dresses and like the nice stuff that I have, they go to the dry cleaners. This, this is why I really say Zara is a one time wear because this dress, I can't remember how many years ago I got it. I got it like some years ago, but I only wore it once before and then I decided to wear it again. I want to say like two weeks ago. I threw it in the wash and this is what happened. When I threw it in the wash, it wasn't ruined. This is what it came out as. Keep in mind, it's like a silk dress, but it's not real silk. And I just didn't feel like I needed to send it to the dry cleaners. I don't know. I feel like a dress that's $50 really doesn't require me to spend $50 just to get it dry cleaned. Because these items are like $50 an item to be dry cleaned. So why would I spend more money over time dry cleaning a dress than how much I spent on the dress? So like... It's not even worth trying to fix it. You know what I mean? So I'll just donate it. I mean, it's ripped, but someone can, you know, 
decide that they want to fix it so i'll put it in my donation pile but that is ridiculous how terrible the quality is for this zara dresses like crazy um, I'm done folding laundry and I came in my um, hair bathroom to organize. I wanted to show you guys car organizer that I got and I told you guys I was going to use for my hair bathroom for underneath the sink. Um, this is just so much better. I have all of my equipment, blow dryer, curling iron. Um, my Dyson will go in here as well, but it's being charged right now. I have my um, roller set, my um, scarves, and just, you know, headbands and stuff that I use for my hair. And then here I have brushes, all the different types of brushes and combs that I have. I have my um, rods in here, but it just makes it so much more organized. Um, and then you can literally hold it like that fit it underneath the sink and whenever I want to do my hair in here I can just pull this out I think I'm gonna get another one to organize my wigs and hair um, just like this on this side just so much more organized and makes so much more sense hi you guys so it is what is this if you hear the noise in the background I'm on hold um, but today is Thursday, March 14th. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. The housekeepers just left. Um, what was I doing today? I was editing um, and then I took out the old wig and I threw on this other wig. I washed it and I sewed it down to my head. Also, I got my natural hair in the bottom. It's braided. Um, I kind of, you know, treated it a little bit just so that it's growing underneath all of the wigs. But I have not styled this yet. I literally just washed it and then I put in some leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm hungry, so I wanted to make some food and I am craving the salad that I made the other night so we are going to make it again except this time I want to add some eggs because I did not put eggs in my um, salad the other day so we're gonna make the same salad except I'm boiling some eggs well I'm boiling one egg because I'm making it for just me um, and then after we do that then we're gonna go style the hair i think i'm just gonna like try to straighten it so if you guys want to see that let me know and i'll show you guys i know i'm not you know <laughs> the hair queen or whatever but i'm figuring out what works for me and honestly i think these uh you know sewing the wigs down works for me um yeah so that's what we're doing we are going to vermont today i believe if we leave on time because it's already three and we were trying to get there before dinner but I don't know if that's gonna happen um, I don't know if you guys know this but we have a ski house in Vermont which is why per my last vlog that I uploaded which is the um, um, St. Marie's vlog that I was actually editing this morning um, you know I learned how to ski there so that I can fully take advantage of our ski house um so yeah so we're going up this weekend to do a little bit of skiing and just to hang out in vermont for a little bit before the season is over i mean vermont is nice in the summertime as well but it's really a ski town um so you really want to go there for skiing in the winter time and voila this is my salad yum i'm about to eat so, this is how the hair turned out after I straightened it. I did my best to try to, you know, straighten it because I'm not a, I'm not a hairstylist, you know, I'm not a professional out here. But, you know, I think I did a good job. Eh, P. 
period i think i found what works for me you know it's not always gonna look perfect but i definitely think just doing the sewing wigs work for me okay we are probably gonna eventually put some curls in here you guys know i love my curls um but yeah so i just wanted to show you guys the hair Ooh, which reminds me i need to put my ring on we are headed to Vermont to our ski house. I'm dressed. Let me show you guys my outfit. But yeah, so this is the fit. I'm literally just wearing some leggings, a black um, tank from Target. This is from Uniqlo. It's just like a beige cardigan. And then I have my Chanel boots. Can you guys see? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'm taking my orange Birkin. In here, I just have a book, my phones, lip gloss, a brush. I obviously have a bag with um, all my ski stuff. Um, and then I also have a bag with like clothes to wear to like, grab lunch, grab dinner. Um, but yeah, I need to grab my ring. beaming in here you know okay decided to change into my Hermes watch instead because I feel like that's the vibe that Vermont gives you know very wood and uh, horseback riding and that type of stuff but let's go <laughs> come on Chanel Come on, get in your little carry-on. We are on our way. It's a three-hour drive, so sit back, relax. We have a while to go. She knows what they love. Um, but yeah, I'm a little hungry, and I feel a little stuffy i don't know if you guys can hear that but yeah but i'm a little hungry so probably like an hour and a half in two hours in we're going to stop for some food like a snack or something maybe a drive-through i'm pretty sure they have like this huge um supermarket um, that we always stop at before we continue our journey so we might stop there we'll see but the food in there is really shitty it's not good food so i don't know we'll see how i feel when we get there but yeah we are on our way <laughs> we made it guys it actually did not take as long as i thought it was going to take well at least it didn't feel as long as i thought it was gonna take because it took as long as it usually takes which is three hours but this time around honestly i felt like it went pretty fast um yeah so we are here i'm not gonna give you guys a tour of the house <laughs> um yeah because that's private but we are at this ski house in Vermont. Um, I'm about to get into the jacuzzi and relax. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Obviously, it's dark outside, but honestly, this is like the perfect time to um get in the hot tub and just you know, like we're in the middle of freaking nowhere at all like there are no neighbors around all you see is wood um so this is like the perfect way to take in nature and just enjoy you know quiet and peace so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to get into the hot tub and um obviously as you can tell i've had like a couple glasses of wine um but yeah 
Hi you guys. It is the next day. Today is a Friday, March the 15th, I believe. Um, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. We are about to go get some breakfast. I woke up this morning and I soaked in the hot tub um, for about like an hour. I woke up at like 6, to be honest with you. I woke up early. Um, that's because we did call it an early night yesterday. Um, yeah, so we are about to go get some breakfast and then we are going to come back change and then we're gonna go skiing um i'm gonna show you guys my outfit that i am going to go get breakfast in it's just a pair of jeans and a skims bodysuit and then i threw over this um cardigan but let me see if i can show you guys yeah so this is the fit <laughs> i'm standing on the stairs because um it's kind of gloomy outside so the lighting in here is not great um yeah so i'm wearing these uh, polo jeans this uh, skims um bodysuit on i threw over this cardigan it's actually pretty nice out here obviously i only brought one bag which is my birkin um yeah and we're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're going to come back to change into our ski gear and then we are going to um go skiing so yeah let's go babe i'm ready finally guys we're at this diner vermont is so crunchy <laughs> not my typical vibes but you know what this is what happens when you come to the countryside we're at this um, breakfast diner. It's super country out here, so like everything is made out of wood. Look at all the people in their ski gear. Um, and it's just like completely different than what I used to. But yeah, I got me a mimosa because I'm on vacation. I don't drink coffee, so a mimosa it was. <laughs> this is a lot of food, but anyways, I got an omelet. Um, I didn't know that it came with um, hash browns, um, some toast, obviously, white bread. I got a short stack. <laughs> this looks like a huge stack, and a side of bacon, and a mimosa get in my uh, skis for the day okay, let me see the other one all right you can the one's bigger than the other yeah that's that's pretty normal um, <laughs> if you want to have a seat i also got some new gloves and some new socks and i'm picking up my boots so I'll show you like that Makes it really easy to get it off and on. Um, if you need to tighten this section, like around your calf, you have this dial. So plus is tight, minus is loose, and that dot will go up and down as you turn it, so you can kind of match it on both feet. Um, so loosen it up a little bit. And I'm gonna do this foot first. Yeah. And if you want to pull your socks up, like all just the way I'll be right back. Okay. How does that feel on your toe and everything? That feels good. Not too tight? No. Right. It's actually much better than the skis I was using in Switzerland. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, we like these for winters because they're comfortable. You know, like easier to lift. Yeah. 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 Alright, you guys. So I am dressed to go ski. Let me show you guys my fit. Okay, the lighting is given from our stairs. Period. Um, let me show you guys my outfit. I'm trying to see. Oh, the camera's day. All right, guys. So this is my fit to go ski. I have my 
Hermes jacket. These are my ski pants. I got them from Aperis online. Underneath, I have skins. I wore this to breakfast. Um, I'm keeping the cardigan underneath just because I can take the jacket off like so. Take the jacket off like so and just wear this. You know, when we're grabbing lunch or a drink, little after ski activities. And then when we are skiing, I am going to have this over. I think I'm at a point where I'm not gonna fall anymore, so I'm not really worried. Well, I might fall, but I fall like on my butt. I don't fall on my, you know, like entire body. So I'm hoping not to ruin my jacket, but this was made for that, you know? It's like supposed to get dry if it gets wet. I don't know. And then obviously I'm gonna have my um, ski boots and my skis. And yeah, I have a helmet. All of that good stuff. I'm excited to go ski and, uh, you know, all of that stuff. I said I wasn't going to give you guys a tour of the house, but, like, you know, I'm, like, filming at little places in the house so that you guys can basically see what our ski house looks like without, you know, me giving you guys a whole tour. Um, I think I'm going to take my Birkin. It's not raining anymore, so I need something for after because I need to have my brush because I'm going to have the helmet on. I need to bring my brush. I need my phones. I don't really need my book. This is the book that I've been reading. I don't really need that, so let's go and ski. I'm so excited. up the lift guys i have advanced i am no longer with metro anymore i'm with at and <laughs> i'm kidding i'm going up to the um what is this is this professional semi-professional anyways girl i'm a i'm a natural skier out here so we are advancing all the way to the top we're on this lift as you can see the one in front of us is empty we don't want to drop the phone, so yeah. But I wanted to show you guys we're going up. Look at my feet. Stop the track. Let me stay fast. I told you, give me a minute and I'll be right back. Fifty million around the world, and they said that I couldn't get. Zoom out. Thank you. Good morning, you guys, or good afternoon. Today is Saturday, March 16th. Um, yeah, so <laughs> ski day yesterday. You guys saw it. It was fun. Your girl is becoming a better skier. You know, I took it up a knot. We went on a little bit more of a, I would say like a medium trail. Um, and I did really good, but then we decided, we decided to go on something a little bit more advanced, even though they said it was the same, um, you know, they said it was like the same level, but girl, 
your girl is limping i am limping my knee my left knee is in so much pain because i try to take a left turn and i have not mastered my turns yet um especially the left i can definitely do right turns but i can't do left turns so i ended up injuring my knee so this knee right here is in so much pain. Today is a much better day. Yesterday was a little rainy. Today is actually kind of partly cloudy, partly sunny. The sun keeps coming and going. So today would have been a perfect day to ski, but I can't ski because I'm injured. So unfortunately, we're just going to be doing some other stuff. Well, it's St. Patrick's um, weekend, I guess. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Um, so we're going to go watch some Irish dancers after we have breakfast because that's what we're going to go do. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot ski, which is sad because today would have been an amazing ski day. The weather is good. You know, but whatever. Well, my outfit, I'm wearing this Hermes sweater. I have on this bodysuit underneath. I have on my, let me use my other legs because this one's broken. I have on my uh, Chanel boots. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and then I threw on this green hat, which is perfect because it's the St. Patrick's weekend. Um, and then I just have my jewelry, my Hermes watch, Van Cleef earrings. And I only brought one bag, which is my um, orange Birkin. So, that's the bag that I'm carrying. Um, but yeah, so we are about to go have a little bit of some food and then um, go watch the Irish dancers. And I think when I come back, I'm gonna go in the tub, even though they advised me not to go in the tub because of my um, injury. They said that the tub's gonna make it swell, but I'm like, that's one of my favorite things to do out here, to be in the tub and like look out at the mountains because we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Like that's the fun in being here. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're gonna head out. I'm just gonna limp my way for the rest of this trip. And hopefully I don't ah, injure myself again. <laughs> Uh -huh. This is me, guys. I see my leg. We're all my knee. Because I'm in pain. And this is why I don't be trying to do anything. Any physical activities is for this exact reason right here. Hi you guys, so we have been back in the house for a little bit. If you hear the noise in the background, it's because the TV is on. Um, I've been sitting here editing a vlog, the St. Moritz vlog, um, and I'm about to upload it. Okay, that's gonna actually annoy the shit out of me. So, let's see if I can find the remote. I was saying, um, I've been sitting here editing my St. Moritz vlog. We are about to head to dinner. Um, there wasn't really much to record today. Like I told you guys, I hurt my knee. Um, I injured my ACL, so it's a little difficult to walk. So we definitely couldn't ski today. Some lunch, we went and watched some Irish dancers. Um, it was super kid friendly. Um, so it wasn't really my vibe then we went back to the mountain I decided to hang out in the lodge which is basically just where there's the bar and like people hang out and have lunch um after you know they ski or take a break from skiing and stuff so that was kind of busy and packed so we just sat there we had um a drink and then we came back um like two hours ago and I've just been sitting here editing my St. Moritz vlog and it's about to go up and now we're gonna head to dinner I'm not changing I'm literally wearing the same thing it's gonna be it for our Vermont unfortunately my you know knee kind of ruined the trip but um you know hopefully I heal and then we'll be back before the end of the season um but Overall, it was still very relaxed and it was nice to spend time with him. 
you know, just he and I, because out here there's really nothing to do but, you know, enjoy each other's company. <laughs> As you go to orthopedic, you've got the legal therapist and Beth Israel. Yep. They all have like top orthopedic corps. Stops the wind noise from the microphone. Oh. Yeah. No. New key. Let's start up. Hi, you guys. Today is Monday. It's March 18th. <laughs> um, yeah, we are back home. Um, as you can see, I'm in my closet because I'm about to get dressed to go to the doctor to go get my knees checked out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm limping because I freaking, the light in here when the sun, it's crazy. Um, I told you guys, I freaking, I broke my... Well, okay, let me not say broke because it's not broken, okay? I injured my knee. Um, so I'm going to go get that checked out by the uh, doctor. Um, and hopefully it's not torn um, and I'm not going to need, like, surgery and it's just sprained. And I'm just going to have to, like, you know, keep it rested and stuff like that. So... We're gonna go to the doctors. I've been basically on bed rest all day. I did a couple of things around the house. Um, sorry, I need to like get out of that light in. Um, but yeah, so I did a couple of things around the house, but nothing too crazy. I opened some packages. Ooh, okay. See, listen, I'm dealing with a broken knee, okay? <laughs> I opened some packages starting with, like I got a bunch of, um, and these from Victoria's Secret. Um, they're really inexpensive, but I just got like a bunch of thongs because honestly, you can just never have enough of those. And I got these like very thin undies. These are like perfect for um, if you're wearing pants that you don't want your underwear lining to show. It's just very thin thin and like you know i don't know flattering and then some g-strings um because you can literally never have enough and then i just thought these were so cute they reminded me of the um a lot of debacle but yeah so i just got a bunch of undies and then i got another package from owner active I love their stuff. Their leggings is so flattering on the body. Um, and the material is just so perfect and soft. It's perfect for working out. It's also perfect for like athleisure stuff. I didn't want to walk to the set of scissors because to be honest with you, like I said, my knee is injured. So the less walking I do, the better. But they got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> this is a very chaotic. But what I'm more excited about are the um, sweatpants that I got from them. They're wide leg sweatpants. I love them sweatpants to just run errands take the dog for a walk oh these are wide and these are uh small long i guess i could have done i could have went with an extra small um we'll see i'll try them on but i got it in this gray color also got it nice chocolate brown uh, I love 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 I can't wait to try that on that was also in a small long I get everything in long because I am 5'8 so I'm on the taller side um, and then I got this like chalk gray uh, I actually love this so much 
let me see this is in size small long you know see the gray one doesn't look that wide but oh, i'm excited and then i got some tops because i love ooh, i love their material like this would be so cute with the gray sweatpants got another pair of their leggings this is the effortless seamless leggings in the color um coal would be so cute with this top to work out go to pilates go to yoga i got another set this is the timeless leggings um this is in the color sage which is absolutely stunning i think this is an extra small long yes um and i got a matching top to go with it and it's just this cute i mean color <laughs> I'm saying Pilates. I can't go anywhere until um, my knee is healed. So I can't really do any working out or anything. Um, but yeah, so that's all I really got um, while I was away to Vermont for skiing. And I broke my knee or sprained my knee. Um, so yeah, um, I have a bunch of laundry here that I need to put away. But I need to get to this appointment, so I'm gonna quickly get dressed and then we're gonna go. All right, you guys, so we are dressed to go to the doctor's and then we're gonna grab some dinner. Um, I'm doing a casual, chic outfit. I have on the um, coal is the color, um, but it's just like this darker gray um, sweats from Owner Active. Then I threw over this um sweater it's from a theory it's a like a short sleeve turtleneck um sweater just to kind of dress it up a little bit and then i threw over my max mara coat and then i'm wearing sneakers i'm wearing my gray nikes um and then i'm taking my um birkin 25 mauve pal i believe that's how you say it um just to kind of make it more you know dressy and then I did like a light makeup, but yeah, that is the look. Let's go to the hospital or to the doctor, physician, and see what they have to say about my knee. We're in Sephora. Look at what he's buying me. <laughs> On our way to dinner. I'll show you guys the stuff I got from Sephora when we get home. We're at Girl 23. We have a 16 ounce of Australian wacky sirloin from Western Farms in Australia. Highly regarded cattle farm in the world. $185 to the New York City. Local oysters are rip tied oysters. They look a little bit on the larger side, but they look a little bit raised across the head. Those are huge. Yeah, they're big. This is the one. So keep that in mind. We also have the Kobe Burger for your shelf. Cheers. Cheers. We're back in the city. So I am back in the house. And I have all of my uh, Sephora products. Um, I did not really record much from dinner. It wasn't anything crazy. We just had, you know, um, some steak frits. I had this like um, loaded potato with caviar on it. Um, and then obviously like a couple of glasses of wine. Nothing too serious, so I really didn't record much of it, but I'm back home and I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I ended up getting from Sephora. First item I got from Sephora is this Dyson um, 
air wrap a complete long equipment so this is for my girlies that like to do the blowout i have been using my um blow dryer to try to blow out my hair but like i'm not a professional so i really don't think i've been doing it like good and then i'm also not really good at curling my hair so i'm super excited to try this this is not cheap you guys know that the dyson um equipments are not cheap at all so that on its own made today an expensive day i got some products i got this um drunk elephant retinol cream i've used it before i haven't used this in actually quite a few months um and i decided to pick it up again today i do kind of switch my products i do know what works for me i know that using retinol at night works for me and then using vitamin c products during the day i was a little on my um, setting spray so i actually got two so i got um, the one that I always use, which is this Urban Decay Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray, up to 16 hour wear. Also grabbed the um, one size um, setting spray. Oh my God, I don't know if you on TikTok, you know that this has been like, you know, what everyone has been raving about. So I picked it up. This is gonna be my first time actually trying this. So I'm super excited to try this out this lancome foundation i just think it's like the perfect shade for me it fits my skin for a while people used to tell me that my foundation was a lot lighter than me and it just didn't fit and i haven't had those issues since i started using um this lancome foundation this is in the um shade 525 and literally this is like the perfect shade for me um, and then i picked up this lineage lip sleeping mask i'm actually gonna try that tonight when i take off my makeup and then i decided to get a um rare beauty concealer um brush because i have been using the um sponge um but you guys know like the whole makeup like routine and stuff changes all the time so everyone has been talking about you know using a brush for their concealer this is what it looks like i'm gonna open it for you guys but this is what it looks like and it's just the perfect shape to get underneath your eye and just, you know, do what it needs to. And you come around and I run. It's for Eric, you love when I share it. Let's talk about Frankie, you love when he's banging. You know what I'm on. Cheers for Gerald, I'm at.